Good morning. It is Sunday, the 25th of July, last week of July. What a month. Hope you're all doing well. How am I doing well? I'm, I'm cruising, doing better every day. Um, something that's really helping is my oldest uh, nephew, Karim, uh, just arrived in town Friday. He'll be here for a while on business. Um, Karim was born here in Omaha and raised partially in Omaha, but lives in California with the rest of my siblings. But uh, the timing is perfect. It's great to have him in town. We spent the last two days together probably more time together as adults than we ever have before. I helped um, raise him, and he'll tell you that, you know, I was the father figure. Um, my sister was 18 and I was 16 when she had him. So it's a great comfort and just fantastic. I love my family. He brought some um, artwork from one of his uh, sons, Gabriel, he has twin sons, and then another son, Kalan. Well, he has a bunch of kids. We've talked about so much. He's covered me. I'm uh, single, uh, dedicatedly so. Um, don't have a, a, a secret sex life. I'm celibate. I am, by choice. So he took care of having kids uh, for, for me. I say it like that. It ain't like that, but I'm saying he's got so many kids, he's got me covered. Anyway, he said, Gabriel, one of his twins, sent this, gave this to me. That young man is amazing. Look at that. That is just incredible. That's him. He painted that freehand. That's beautiful. He sent me some other stuff, but this is just gorgeous, and it's a it's like it's the painting of a master. Love my family. Very, very proud of my family. Yesterday, um, one of the things that we did was um, I made a trip out to Recycled Sounds, one of the few record stores in Omaha, because Stuart had, um, was holding something for me, an album that I've been looking for for over 30 years. And I now have a a vinyl copy of White Noise, Delia Derbyshire and David Warhouse. It's not a pink label, but it's a pink, um, that's still an early version. That's a still early reissue of this. This album is, um, it's a groundbreaking album regarding the use of manipulation of sound, early use of synthesizer, it's even kind of scary in parts. Um, it's very fanciful and very wildly imaginative. You know, uh, love without sound, the sound of people, my game of loving. It's, it was uh, kind of, um, not kind of, for the time, maybe even controversial and um, definitely, um, something not typical of the time. I've been, I have had this on a uh, CD for a long time. And uh, it's not the sort of record you play a lot, but this is one of the kind of records that I definitely have been wanting in my collection. Thank you, Stuart. Recycled Sounds for holding it for me. While I was out there, I also picked up one other record, bought the only record store day record of interest to me that came to this area. Champions by Miles Davis from the Jack Johnson sessions. I play, listen to this with my nephew yesterday. And um, it's always, um, at this point to me, it's just Miles is Miles and I'm ready for some Miles most any time. Nice yellow vinyl. This one, um, from, the Met, the, from what I remember listening to it yesterday, John McLaughlin's playing is prominent on that throughout, and it's pretty funky. Last night I played another record. Um, I just did a blind pull and listened to almost all of it. It's an odd bootleg. 
it's billed as Genesis, and there is a um, Twilight L House. What? It, where is that from in here? It's a BBC recording, okay? But then there's also tracks on here by Steve Hackett Band and Led Zeppelin and Peter Gabriel solo. Strange. The, um, the Genesis tracks are pretty clear sounding for the time. And um, I think the main thing that I was, I'm just waking up here, folks, and still processing a lot of stuff. But uh, it, was a, it was a nostalgia trip, really, more than being an active. I'm really getting into hearing these songs now. It was more of a nostalgia trip, but it was a good one. I also got in the mail yesterday, no, today is Sunday, Friday, I received from my good friend Greg Eklund. Let me just set this up so you know who I'm talking about. I'd like to help him uh, spread the word on this record. A few years ago, um, I met and be became good good friends with Greg Eklund, the, guitar the drummer from the band Everclear. They had hits, so you know who I'm talking about. Everclear. Sparkle and Fade. Greg and I, um, it was, it was, it was funny. Um, I don't know his wife really, but I, she knew who I was. So when he moved to Omaha because of her job, um, he was asking his wife, well, who, you know, who's in town? Who does music in town? You know, who should I know? And and started asking her and other folks, and my name kept coming up, among others. So when we met, we really hit it off. Interesting, Interestingly, because my taste is, 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 is quite different from his, for the most part. But our souls vibrate together. I consider him a very good friend. So he just finally released his first solo album. He's had some other things out besides Everclear. <clears throat> but this is his first solo album, Muffled Tears. He was, he was working on getting this together while living in Omaha. I was almost on the record <clears throat> as he was putting writing and putting it together. It's on clear vinyl. I gotta say that for the most part this is really really re quite good it's very pop and at the same time Greg stretches his wings on this and experiments a bit but this is straight ahead American pop real pop fizzy and uh, upbeat and sunshine comes through like the first track liberation prelude and chain wallets Million Dollar Baby. I really like the first album, the first side in particular. Side two is a little more introspective at first. There's even a quote reference to Everclear at the end of, um, I think, the song Chain Wallets. He just sneaks it in there, and um, I think you can um, hear it, those that know the band. The inside sheet really shows what I know of Greg. I got to know Greg. He's a family man. He loves his family, his wife and his boys. He loves them to death. Even though he's a touring musician, he still plays with Storm Large. And uh, he's on the road a lot, well, until COVID. I appreciate that I got a name check and the, th the thanks in here. He thanks, thanks me. But uh, this is good. And um, this is the sort of thing I could hear on the radio even now on high, on high rotation, and it would work. This is pop music for the masses. It's really good. Greg Eklund, Muffled Tears. He sent me another record by some friends of his that I, I have to come back to because my first impression was just kind of so-so. Falcon Arrow, Occurrence. That's a strange um, painting on the cover, and it's on, 
as you can see it's numbered I don't know how many they made of these probably 500 pink vinyl it strikes me as um, kind of a post rock affair but I again I didn't go into it deep but Greg sent it to me saying that he thought I would I would dig it I probably will I want to again thank you folks for your kind thoughts and, and comments to me, and your support. It means a lot. Uh, many of you have shared your own experience. Some of you are actually going through a, a, a bereavement or a loss right now. Life goes on and it never stops. You know, this morning I get on online and see that my granddaughter, Stella, has lost her first grandparent her, on her dad's side. So just life goes on, and we have to, not have to, but it's like, the only moment we have is now, so live. Enjoy life. I'll be reviewing, reviewing the Discus CDs soon, okay?